teacher. I'm going to cut right to the chase. We're talking about health and wellness again and what you should and should not be eating in your diet. If you want to have the maximum amount of good health, great health for some, just depends, optimal health, if you will. So I've said in time past and I continue to reiterate that we should be eating whole foods, foods that are complete in nutrition, foods of value, foods that are organic in their very nature, by their very nature, because we are organic as well. And those things that are organic should go into something else that is living that is organic, us. So I want to throw some things at you and I want to apologize in advance because my camera, it won't reverse the wording on these packages that I'm going to show you. So just comprehend, understand that they are what I say they are. Pinto beans, great for protein. Navy beans, protein. Black eyed peas, nature's food, great for protein. And lentils, great for protein as well, just to name a few. Now, here's what's going to make your doctor love you because of what you love. These things called spice drops. Full of sugar. I sell them in my store. Look familiar? Eminem peanuts? I sell them in my store. Can't forget Snickers. I sell them in my store. They are full of sugar. 36 to 50 something grams of sugar. Candy bars and juices. Even these got cheese, peanut butter, full of salt, sugar. Can't forget the hostess cinnamon roll, icing, full of sugar. Not to mention the cupcake, chocolate, white icing, cream filled. Now I'm sure you know what this is Starburst. Burst of flavors burst of excess sugar that your body does not need. Little Debbie has a snack for you. We want to call this a granola bar, but guess what? It's full of sugar as well. I'm not talking about nature's sugar. I'm talking about sugar that's added, white sugar. And God forbid you want to ingest these things. These have twice as much sugar as everything that I just pointed out to you. Okay. How's about this? Coke and a smile? Okay, sugar. Even our illustrious Gatorade. You got it in you? And that what they always taught this to be? One of those energizing drinks after you've lost your electrolytes and you're sweating on a hot summer day? Well, guess what? There's no nutrition in here. Gatorade. Full of salt though, and sugar. Artificial flavors. Oh, but surely lemonade is okay. No, it's not. 36 grams or more of sugar. Okay. Oh, what about the diet version of Coca-Cola? It doesn't have any sugar in here according to the ingredients, but guess what? It has aspartame, which is an artificial sweetener or sugar that causes cancer in laboratory animals. And if it causes cancer in mammals, guess what we are? causes cancer in us as well. All right, they've got a snack beverage for the children called, what, Capri Suns? Little pouches, chocked full of sugar, along with the flavor, artificial flavor that is. Oh, but can't go wrong with fruit snacks. No real fruit though, but they call fruit snacks. Full of what again? Sugar. Now, energy drink for a tired individual on the job, you're staying away, have to do a double shift. Don't forget the Red Bull, but it's full of what? Sugar. You see, it's hard to get away from sugar in our society. And can't forget its counterpart, the monster drink. It's full of what again, say it? Sugar. 
Got a little small candy treat for you. It's called a Twizzler. Remember these when you were kids? Full of sugar. All right. So what's the moral of this story, brother teacher? The moral of the story is simple. Virtually everything that we consume in our grocery stores in the form of snacks, those little comfort foods, virtually all of them have sugar in them. What does sugar do in the body in excess? It's a big D word. It causes diabetes. Makes you insulin resistant. And you start out with type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes, then you end up with type 1 where you have to take insulin to supplement that diet, excuse me, to supplement the insulin that your body is no longer producing. And did you not know if your diabetes goes unmonitored, uh, uncontrolled by you, as far as your diet is concerned, you could lose your eyesight. You could lose a toe. You could lose several toes. You could lose your foot. You could lose your legs. Did you not know this? All of these because we are consuming excess sugar. And I'm only talking about sugar right now because we could talk about the sodium in excess and we could talk about the artificial flavoring and all of the other things that they put in our food products. It's not really food, but food products that are no good for us. Let me back up one more time. Let me tell you something. Did you know that when you drink Coke, that this whole bottle, this beverage is a chemical? Yes. It's a chemical. Has no nutritive or nutritional value whatsoever. It's a chemical. So is a monster drink. It's a chemical. It's not water. It's water containing dozens of other things that are not healthy, that are not nutritious for our body. Period. So, if you eat what you love, you'll make your doctor happy. You really will. You know why? Because he's going to prescribe some drugs for you to sort of curtail those issues that you have as a result of consuming those things, especially in excess. So brother teacher, why do you sell these things in your store? It's simple. I'm a convenience store. I don't make anyone buy anything from my store, but I also give people advice when they come into my store. I'm not speaking about Kroger's big chain stores and things of this sort you know your Walmarts and that because you don't have the one-on-one -on -one in those types of situations but in a mom and pop store similar to mine you have communication I'll talk to my customers and they become my friends oftentimes and I give them advice you see I sell healthy things as well but when you come and buy a soda you don't have to buy 10 sodas and drink three or four of them in a day it's all about it's all a matter of choice what is your choice today do you choose health even though I sell these products in my store because I've done it for over 20 something years now it doesn't mean that when you purchase these things that you don't have any say so in what you buy and what you consume so if you get a six pack of coke out of my store for example do you drink all six cokes when you get home you see you have to have a certain amount of self-control or temperance as the Bible says and you say, well, I'm just going to drink half a Coke today or uh, one can of Coke today. And I skip a few days and make sure that I drink plenty of water and make sure that I eat a wholesome diet. That's what happens with a responsible adult. No one tells you to eat a whole cake just because it's sitting in front of you. No one tells you to eat 20 chocolate chip cookies just because you know you have them in the house. It's called self-control, ladies and gentlemen. You have to discipline yourself to be disciplined so just because you can drive to the store or walk to the convenience store or the grocery store doesn't mean that the things that you're buying have to monopolize your diet so when you sit down to eat you don't have to eat a whole bag of cookies you can eat a couple so what is this saying about you and I'm not beating up on you what it's saying is this either your health and your wellness is important to you or it's not so I'm saying in essence this if you want to continue to eat those things that taste good to you those things that you say you love your doctor is really really going to thank you you know why because you are pulling extra money into the medical industry you're putting money in his pocket you're sending him on vacation because he's going to prescribe no not only drugs for you to curtail, as I said earlier, that heartburn, that bloating, 
that gastrointestinal issues, that diabetes that you might be uh, predestined to have, I should say, but that heart disease, all of these other maladies that you might receive as a result of consuming these things, especially in excess, you're going to make that doctor very happy because now he has a client poss possibly for life. You're going to pay for his vacation to Disneyland, him and his family, his golfing trips, his vacations across seas, wherever he decides he wants to go. You are making him rich. You're paying off his student loans from when he went to medical college. Did you not know that? Because you decided that you wanted to continue to be a patient because you were not patient enough to take care of yourself and have a little discipline about yourself. Does it make sense what I'm saying now? You see, outside of the prescription medication that he's going to prescribe for you, unfortunately, somewhere down the road, he might also be prescribing surgery. When we came into this world, we came into this world in one piece. It's unfortunate that because of our habits, we have to be chopped on, cut open, and have our organs compromised and removed from our bodies, all just because we didn't have the discipline and the self-control. That was all I had to say. That was it, and that was all. Think on these things. This is Brother Teacher. I'll see you in the next video. Comments, comment section below. I'm out.